hey um there's something else i thought of that i wanted to tell you all about um aside from my regular job at the pharmacy um i also am doing the life coach work and also um i make jewelry and i usually i pick certain stones that like i think people will will like and i pick things that i think will be helpful um if you look in my bio i have the link to my alternate account which is the jewelry so if there's anything that you might be interested in that um you might want some healing with and you like the the healing stones and the vibes and the um earth healing and the natural this and that um i do work with that and it is one of my favorite things to do um it gives me something to do with my hands it lets me to create something that helps somebody um it helps you feel beautiful when you wear it um i also make men's jewelry so if there's dudes out there that <laughs> want something i can put it together i have stuff for them um it's not all rose quartz you know like i got a lot of different things um, a lot of different jaspers, um, lapis is good, um, agates, black agate is one of my favorites, um, because it, it'll be solid black, but it'll have just a little streak of white in it somewhere, or like a little dot of white somewhere, like, um, kind of misty, you know, like I have a ring that looks like that, actually, that's a black agate, but it just has, oops, Shit, where is it? Oh, you can't see it because of the reflect. No, yeah, you can. It's that white spot right there. Looks like a triangle. I like that kind of thing. Um, I have a lot in here, actually. I have Labradorite. Let's see. That's one of my favorites. Um, but anyway, I've got some good stuff in here. So, if you're into that... Um, I'd love to put something together for you, you know. I think it's good to use the healing energy that's in the earth because it's already there. It's already there and it's waiting for you to um, take advantage of it for lack of a better way to put it. Like, I don't want to say that because it sounds negative, but it's really not. Um, I think those things were created to help us along our way, help us along our path. And um, the healing energies and the healing vibes from the earth um, can really do a lot for you. And it will help you balance out, um, especially if you're into astrology, which of course I am. <laughs> you can look at what elements you have are out of balance. Um, like I'm an earth sign. My air is okay. My air is pretty good. Um, my fire has been really crazy for a long long time and i don't have enough water to cool me down and soothe me so i i need a lot of soothing things like um i like cool colors i like um you know uh candles that smell like the ocean um or like nice clean smells you know and uh, of course i like a good hot bath um and water therapy and things like that i like going to the beach um, I love the woods as well. You know, the woods are my favorite, but really I love the beach uh, also because um, that water is just, uh, it's that's so purifying and it's so therapeutic to just wash away all of the shit that you carry with you. Wash it out, let the ocean take it and just, um, what's the word, negate or um, render um, like take all the bad vibes out of it just kind of purifies it there's a word i'm looking for negate might be it but you know just like uh neutralize neutralize that's the word i'm looking for it's neutralize so um but the earth you know especially water can wash away the bullshit and neutralize all that for you and just take it out and um you can do the same things by burying things in the earth um neutralizes it um you know but i have the uh medieval mindset where things that come from the earth naturally are already sacred because it's part of creation and uh has the sacred vibration in it and it's already just as it should be 
in, you know, in order to help, in order to help you, like people will talk about blessing objects and such as that. And I don't, I don't diss it. Um, you know, if you want to do that, do that. But people will talk about blessing stones and stuff like that, or, um, maybe even charging stones. And I think that's okay too. But in my, just for my experience, just for me, I don't necessarily have to do that with, with my stuff because I'm, I don't come at it with that approach where I think it's got to be programmed or, well, of course, obviously quartz you can program because the quartz is the, is the one neutral one that's like totally hundred percent neutral and you could totally do whatever you want with that. Uh, the quartz is clear and it's open um, to anything. So that's the one stone that you really can't program if you totally wanted to. The rest of them, I would say just my experience, they have their own vibe. They have their own, their own thing that they do. There's, um, this right here is a black agate. I love this one. I've had this one for years. Um, let me see if I can get it. Yeah. I've had this five or six years. I love this thing. Wish I could get a clearer picture. Oh, there it is. Sorry, it's blurry. Um, let me see. I did not wrap this. Most of my stones I have, I, I've wrapped myself. This one I did not. But see how it's got the lines in it? You know, it's not totally solid black. That's what I love about agates is that um, it's not just even the black ones. It's not a solid color. It, there is a little bit of detail. And I love it when they do the jersey shit like that where they... Jersey is when um, it looks like it's been busted and you open it up and it's got all the crystal, crystalline shit on the inside. That happens when um, there's water in the stone and when it evaporates, it takes bits and pieces of it with it and it ends up having that crystal texture to it. It just kind of happens. It's from water. This is one of the powerful things water can do, you know, just like make something beautiful just by doing what it does naturally. I think it's cool. But what I want to say about that agate was that when I, every time I wear this, I'm not making this up. I'm going to be real with y'all. Every time I wear this, something happens that is, look at my reflection. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> every look. <laughs> okay. Sorry. But every time I wear that, um, something crazy happens that gets revealed and that's exactly what the black stones are for is for serious um <laughs> i'm so stupid the reflection um but the black stones are perfect for um any kind of revelation you might need because that's for clearing out and dragging things out into the open and and uh exposing something once and for all something you need to deal with you need to address or you need to know the black agate, I'm telling you that it'll, it works. I'm telling you it works. Like I've been doing this stuff all my life. So like, I know rocks. I'm telling you they work. <laughs> um, one time <clears throat> I haven't told anybody this story, but I'm going to tell you now. Cause I think it's cool. One time I was doing meditation with uh, my ancestors trying to get in touch with them. And I had, I, I, was also trying to overcome my fear of being in the dark. <laughs> so I was probably 27 or 28 at the time. Um, yeah, maybe 28. And I was sitting in my room. It was in the evening. I turned the light off. It was dark. I sat on the floor. I had a tall pointed amethyst, you know, like the point. I had an antique bell. You know, I had one of those. I had a candle going and I might've had incense too. I probably did. Cause I love incense. I love a good smell. Like I fucks with that. Like I love that. So if anything, I would have had those four things, the amethyst, the bell, the candle and the incense. <clears throat> I know for sure I would have had those. So I had that stuff laid out and I sat there meditating and I was just talking to them and talking to my, my family. And, and I said, I'm trying to get through to y'all. I'm trying to uh, be able to connect with you more than we have so far. Um, I'm trying different ways to try to get to you. And uh, the next thing I'm going to try is um, astral projection. And when I said astral projection, that amethyst went boom. I mean like it just boom. 
it fell. The thing's like six inches tall and it just went whoosh. And no, there were no open windows because it was wintertime and it was fucking cold and I had the windows closed. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, this happened. And I haven't told anybody this, but I'm going to tell now. So the amethyst fell. Well, it hit the candle. And um, the candle, in turn, went out and also splashed some of the wet wax onto that little ding -a ling bell that I had. I still have the bell. It's sitting. I'm going to show it to you right now. Sorry, he's in there playing. Okay, this is the amethyst I had. Looks like it still has a little bit of wax on the top, but anyway, that's what I had. That's really be this thing is incredible. Like, there's so much going on in there. So much shit going on in there. Look at that. Look at that shit. You could sit and just meditate on that, and meditate on all the parts of yourself that are beautiful and shiny and all your facets look at the facets on there like you could totally look at this like it as if it were you and just look at all the different angles on the inside and shit and there's the bottom but you know just all that stuff going on in there all the light reflections in there anyway so i had that and then the candle and then the bell and i left the wax on there like they knocked that down on there. I, I left it. I left it that way. So. But that's. The, the amethyst is also a good stone. For any kind of psychic. Anything really like. It's just it's just a good ass stone for that. It pulls in energies you're wanting to draw in. Um, sends out what you're wanting to send out. It's a good conductor for that I think. In my experience it has been. Um, and I think they like it too. I think, I think the spirit world likes it too. And I, and that's why, um, it's so popular. And I think, you know, that's why people are drawn to it is because they're meant to use it. And, uh, this is the kind of amethyst that's, that doesn't have like a lot of dark in it. Actually, the darker the amethyst, the more pure it's supposed to be. Um, I might be wrong about this. If somebody that knows better than me, comment and, and let me know below because I'm not sure. But I want to say the amethyst is in the quartz family. But I'm not sure. Because there's ones that look like this that are almost clear. Like, you can tell. You can sort of tell it's purple. But um, there's that. And then there's some amethysts that are like real dark purple. And those are supposed to be like the more amethyst amethyst ones. <laughs> but anyway. So, crystals and shit. You know, I'm telling you. There's something to it. I wouldn't tell you all this if I didn't think it was real. Like, <laughs> but, um, that's been my experience. And then oh, I have other stuff over here. Like I just ordered some, um, little amber beads. And then I have, I prefer the cognac color myself. And then I have, um, a pendant that's on the way. It's like taking forever to get here. It's making me anxious. And then I always have, let me see. always have this kind of stuff if you want something simple you know i'm into that um i buy bags of that i have a lot of um hematite i've got this which i had put on a necklace i was going to sell but to be real i think i've like changed my mind every time i look at this i change my mind about selling it i think i'm just going to keep this one for me because like i love it and if i find another one and someone wants it i will look for another one and get it um i used to go to michael's and stock up on these things well michael's craft store has decided at some point they changed their like crystal layout or whatever on that aisle they had if you're familiar with michael's there was an aisle where they had little metal um not pendants i mean yeah pendants but uh charms and stuff remember that section that just had the charms for the charm bracelets the little brass ones and then the little silver ones that would go on a necklace like to make it look expensive or whatever. And then the opposite aisle or the opposite wall that, yeah, the opposite aisle that was like facing it would be the, the beadwork stuff like the pliers and the, um, 
the jump rings and the earring things and stuff like that. And also on that wall with the pendants was um, the hemp cords, the metal wire, uh, and then fish and wire and stuff like that. All that was in that same area. <clears throat> if you lived at Michael's the way I used to. I don't now because the damn place is 40 minutes away and I'm not going to make that drive all the time. I'm not doing it. Um, because I live out in the country and uh, I'm not... I can't can't do that every week. <laughs> so what I'm going to do for right now is just like work on jewelry that I have. Beads that I have that I can, that I can sell that like, you know, if someone likes it. Um... But I got all kinds of stuff in here. I, I can probably make like a separate video and just show what I have or whatever. But uh, for the time being, you know, I don't know. I just felt like kind of putting this out there. But I totally have, totally have what you need. So, um, just my experience with stones and everything, um, you know. But I do think getting uh, healing energies from the earth is uh, hugely important and helps with balancing and, um, and like I say, you know, it helps you to know your elements. If you know what's up with your elements, you can choose the right stones, choose the right uh, parts from nature that will help you um, balance it once and for all and just like, you know, let things even out, let your energies even out a bit. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, I'll get back with you later with some more details about the jewelry. And um, have a good day.